In RV life, things are going to go wrong. Don't let anyone tell you any different. Find out what broke on my motorhome next. Welcome to the channel. I'm Liz. I'm a full-time RVer. I've been on the road four and a half years and I'm on camper number nine. And three of those were brand new. Doesn't matter, new or used, things are going to break and they're going to break pretty often. First, I want to invite you to subscribe to my channel. My mission is to hit 100,000 subscribers and I'm getting closer each day. So thank you for subscribing. So if you don't know, I have a 2005 Alpha Motorhome. I got it in October. It was a great buy. I did have to put some work into it, you know, renovations, repairs, and upgrades. And now I've just been hit with another repair. Well, you probably know this about repairs. They never happen at a convenient time, right? I was getting ready to travel over four days from Utah to Oregon. I had planned eight days to get there driving every other day. Well, the afternoon, late afternoon, before I was ready to travel, my air conditioning broke. Okay, so let me turn it on so you can hear what it does. Before we go any further, I wanna thank Brooklyn Bedding for sponsoring this video. I've been sleeping on an RV mattress by Brooklyn Bedding for the past year. My mattress is the Aurora Lux in Soft. Now what I learned is that I had been sleeping on the wrong firmness my whole adult life. I thought it was normal to wake up with aches and pains. I mean, after all, I'm 60 years old, but no. I actually now wake up pain-free. A mattress makes such a big difference. Like they say, it's a third of your life. No matter if you're a full-timer or you're camping on weekends, you don't want to sacrifice sleep. Of course, if you're buying an older camper, you'll want to replace the mattress. But did you know if you're buying a new camper, you'll likely have to buy a new mattress too. I bought a brand new fifth wheel a few years ago and in three weeks I cratered that mattress because what they put in there even on these $400,000 motorhomes they put in some pretty bad mattresses so you'll want to have a good one that's comfortable so you get a good night's sleep. Now RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding is set up for RVers. They ship directly to you. They have the mattress sizes that you see in RVs like Queen Short and King Short. And they have lots of mattresses to choose from. They have a 120 night sleep trial and free shipping. That is so important if you're on the road, you can get that mattress shipped to you. Their factory is in Arizona, so you'll get your mattress pretty quick. And I should mention that the Aurora Lux mattress that I have has a chill pad that means it's always cool to touch and that can be really important when your air conditioning goes out or just on hot summer nights now there's an exciting update there is a special discount this will give you 32 percent off if you go to rvmattress.com slash liz amazing you enter in your number you'll get a special code sent directly to you this is the biggest sale of the year and ever in their history so don't miss out the sale ends on may 31st of this year. The air conditioning does blow cool air, but that sound, I don't know if it's a bearing or the compressor going. Right away, I knew this was not going to be a quick fix. Most dealers, you go any RV repair place, they're going to have you waiting for months. So here we are in May. I probably wouldn't even get my RV back until like September or October even. So I needed to have a temporary solution to keep it cool while I'm waiting and figuring out where I'm going to take it and how I'm going to get it fixed. Because in my situation, I do not have normal rooftop air. So I mentioned that this was camper number nine. Well, all all the campers before that that had air conditioning had rooftop air. This is my first basement air. I love it, but there are some downsides. Let me talk about why I love it first, because if you're used to rooftop air, you know how noisy it is. It's super, super loud and it's not very efficient. If you set up camp on a hot day, you go to turn on your air conditioning, it may take you three or four hours or more before your camper finally cools off. Let's say your camper got up to 82 or 88 degrees, it'll probably take you the rest of the day to get it comfortable. Well, the video I shot last week, I shot with my air conditioning running because basement air is super quiet. I really love it. When I'm working at my desk, I can't even hear it. Because the air is in the basement, Alpha was able to build the motor coach taller. The interior height 
of the ceiling is seven feet six inches. I get an extra row of cabinets above my head. I get an extra 16 feet of storage space. Now my unit is 27,000 BTU. It chills this motor home really well and really fast and has a heat pump. The heat pump works great too. But the downside, if you haven't guessed it already, is that the basement air is hard to work on and it's actually hard to find people to work on basement air because there's not that many. So that's why I was like, okay, I'm going to find a short-term solution because I'm going to have to find a specialized repair person. So I went to Costco and I bought an air conditioner. I bought a Hisense roll-around air conditioner. It's 8,000 BTU, 500 square feet, which is probably double what I have here and it works great. So here's my typical setup when I shoot and you can see the air conditioner behind me. I mean, it's ugly, but it gets the job done. I'm just grateful to have even found an air conditioner this time of year, right? I mean, we know they sell out when summer starts, but I do recommend that one and I'll have a link to it in the description and it's at Costco and it costs 300 and some dollars. It's just so easy for your camper to get hot air conditioning is not an option. So I'm really glad that I got it, but here's the gift in that. The next day I traveled as planned. I drove 240 miles, found myself in Utah in Provo, and I thought, well, you know, just for fun, I am gonna call some dealers and, and, you know, just find out if somebody can work on it in this area. Well, I posted on the Alpha Forum. As you remember, I really recommend having a forum because it's such a great resource. And someone said, well, call Charlie's in Ogden. And I did, and you know what? Like most dealers, they're backed up over a month, but they said, oh, you have an Alpha. We specialize in Alphas. We have 12 right here. I know you're traveling. We'll work you in. It's gonna take about six days, but we'll work you in and see if we can get you back on the road. So instead of spending one night in Provo, I'm spending six nights in Provo, but I feel really lucky. They told me they're one of only three dealers in the country that specialize in alphas. They've seen basement air, they work on basement air all the time, so I feel really good about it. And the other gift in that is that Provo, Utah is beautiful. I've never been here, so I've been out on my bike and I've been exploring it. It's unbelievably gorgeous because I'm in a green valley surrounded by snow-capped mountains. The weather's perfect. The high is generally about 70, 75, so my little air conditioner can keep up. I really don't think it would keep up if I was in 90 degree weather. So I feel really fortunate that maybe I won't be waiting months to get my air conditioning fixed. I mean, that's the thing about RV life. You have to roll with it. You let your travel plans be changed. And remember that repairs are unavoidable, so you just have to make the best of it. If you've enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share, and let me know your repair stories. I'd love to hear it. As always, these are exciting times to push past fear, build confidence, and live amazing.